This is the Bengal tiger, and Bengal tigers are known for being very powerful, ferocious animals. They're ambush predators, so they live in areas of dense vegetation so they can hide really well. Then they sneak up on their prey, and when they're close enough, they'll sprint out, jump, pounce, and they'll sink those long canine teeth into the back of the neck or in the throat. I'm sure it's not pretty, but it's over very fast. And a 600-pound Bengal tiger can take down a 2,000 pound water buffalo. They're just incredibly strong, taking down something almost four times their own size and weight. It's impressive. And they can eat up to 66 pounds of meat at one time, which is a lot, but if you're eating a 2,000 pound buffalo, you're not really putting a dent in it. So they hide what's left over, and then they come back and visit when they're hungry again. And fortunately, they're not very picky eaters because the meat begins to rot and they don't actually have a problem with that. So, very strong stomachs. And they have retractable claws, and that helps keep them sharp and silent when they're creeping around looking for things to eat. And they like to hang out near watering holes because one, it's a very good place to cool off in the heat of the day, and two, everything comes there to drink. And so it's easy to catch something off its guard. And sometimes they'll even deliberately chase their prey into the water to slow the prey down and have a better chance of making a kill. And Bengal tigers have really large home ranges, up to 40 square miles. It's quite a bit of space to take care of, and it only takes them a few days to patrol the whole area. And they continually keep up on the markings. They'll scratch trees and urinate on them to say, this is my territory. And just from the chemicals in their urine, other Bengal tigers can determine another Bengal tiger's age, their sex, their breeding status, their weight, all kinds of things. And that's really important, especially during the breeding season, because it allows other Bengal tigers to communicate with other ones from a distance. It's kind of like the Facebook for Bengal tigers. And uh, they can pair up when the time is right. But that's not exclusive to Bengal tigers. Other animals do that as well. So that is the Bengal tiger, a very dangerous predatory animal and is social from a distance.